Well, hello everyone, I'm Mr. Minio, and today we're going to be talking about a game called Ragdoll Royale, which is basically, which is quite thought of as a Fall Guys clone. But before we get into that, if you guys are part of the large majority of people who watch my content but they don't actually subscribe, feel free to press the subscribe button. And besides, it's free, and you can't be free. But now, let's get into the video. Alright, so lots of you may have heard of the game called Ragdoll Royale, and basically what it is is, um, to cut it short, it, it basically does everything that you would think Fall Guys does. Like, you got all these obstacle courses and everything, and you have to be, like, a certain, like, only a certain amount of people can make it to the end, or else you get disqualified and all that, yada yada. So, yeah, it sounds quite a lot like Fall Guys, and, um, I'm pretty sure it, this might get deleted. If you guys haven't known already, um, Roblox has basically been purging a whole bunch of Roblox Fall Guys clones because there's been a whole bunch of controversy and everything on this because Roblox already had a big problem with Skyblock and they don't really want to go through that again. So what I think is happening is Roblox is kind of just deleting all of these just because they don't want to go have their users go through lawsuits and everything again. It's kind of expected for games like Fall Guys and Among Us and like all these uh, like Fortnite and everything to get copied pretty quickly on Roblox because they're very popular and um, once there's just a new trend, uh, Roblox developers will see that and they're like, oh my gosh, I can capitalize on this. People will click on my game instead of going to the actual game because heck, it's free. So then what happens is the developers of the actual game find out and they're like, oh no, they're um, pirating our games or something like that. So then what happens is, basically, they do a DMCA thingy, which is a copyright thing to take it down. And there you go, the day's over, blah blah blah. It could be, lots of the time it is more complicated than that, but that's a little bit more of a simple way to put it in. But yeah. So, I personally have played Ragdoll Royale, and honestly, I just don't really like the game. I mean, it feels too much like Fall Guys. Like, it, it, I mean, it looks a lot more like it, its own thing. Because, like, lots of the maps and everything and all the characters, they don't look at all like they're from Fall Guys, but, like, the game itself, once you start playing it, it seems quite a lot like Fall Guys. Like, the way the maps work and everything, yes, it, it looks a lot like Fall Guys. The reason why I think it might get deleted soon is because it's had over like 25 million visits at the time of making this video, and um, it has gotten a lot of attention on YouTube by big YouTubers like Sketch, etc. Playing this game myself, I can see that these maps are actually quite heavily inspired by some of the official maps on Fall Guys. Let's to keep it short, um, how I see these maps on Ragdoll Royale, it's basically just a bunch of maps from Fall Guys just put together and made into this whole new map, which I think isn't a really good thing, and he, I think the developer needs a bit more creativity in here. In terms of stuff that the developer used in the game that's actually in Fall Guys, which he didn't really use any assets from Fall Guys in Roblox, which I mean, it would be pretty hard to do that, but yeah. Like, he did state in the developer forums and all the stuff, all, all the assets and everything that he used in this game, which is like, yeah, you don't really see that that much in games, because if you look at, like, certain big games, they don't really, um, state all that. So, yeah. Um, hats off to you, because, like, um, he's actually doing a good thing, and I, I think more developer, like, more Roblox game developers should be doing stuff like this, where they, uh, actually say what stuff they use that isn't actually, like, isn't necessarily theirs. Yeah, that's like one of the only th good things I think this developer did. Oh, and by the way, the developer's name is like Synaptics or something like that. I don't know, but yeah. All right. What do I think of the game? I think you all re already know. I don't I I just think it's trash. 
like honestly is like it, it feels like it's just trying to be fall guys like it and plus the the music in the game it, it's just very repetitive and everything where to the point where it actually gets quite annoying so i end up having to just mute to the game which isn't a good start for your game man and also, I, I think you should be using your brain more, because, like, well, let's not say that. Let's say, I think you should be using a bit more creativity. There. That sounds a bit less mean. Um, yeah, so, there, in that situation, I th what I mean is, I think you should be using, uh, making more creative things and all that stuff, like, cr more creative mechanics and all that, because, like, the jumping and diving mechanic thingy, like, the exact same thing is in, like, Fall Guys, which, I mean, come on. Do I think this game is going to get taken down? Probably. I would think it would, but I mean, they don't really have anything from Fall Guys in their game, so maybe they actually won't get taken down. Well, who knows? Only time can tell. But yeah... Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative or whatever, feel free to leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I'm Mr. Minio. See you next time.